Hello everybody. Welcome to Science Hunt. Today, instead of doing Arduino, I am just turning up and doing some electronics hardware that is the switches. Switches are the most important part of a circuit and a basic part of the circuit. Like a power supply is a basic part, wires are the basic part, a switch is a basic part, a resistor is a basic part and a bulb or a device that, that is a motor, mostly a uh, LED bulb, that is a basic part of a circuit. Today we are going to learn types of switches. In our home we use many types of switches um, but uh, those are mostly SPST type of switch um, and uh, while doing Arduino we haven't yet started with switches but uh, while doing Arduino we use push buttons and we use um, slide switches. So these two push buttons and slide switches are also examples of these only SPHT, SPDT, DPHT and uh, DPDT. So before starting with uh, SPHT switch, let's learn what are switches. So what are switches? We all know that uh, this guy just closes the circuit and opens the circuit. We have learnt in textbooks. But what is the meaning of the closed circuit and the open circuit? Closed circuit is nothing but when the circuit allows the flow of current, then it is known as a closed circuit. And when the circuit doesn't allow the flow of current, then it is an open circuit. So as you can see here, the switch is not uh, is not in the on condition so it is a open circuit whereas if the switch is in is now in the on condition so it is a closed circuit so now we have understood what are switches so now let's start with our first type of switch that is the spht switch spht switch so what is the meaning of SPHT? It is nothing hard. SPHT is the single pole, single throw. So first of all, let me explain you what is single pole and single throw. So pole and throw. Throw we can define as two things. Throw is this circle and throw is the number of press. How many times you press the switch? is also known as throw but uh, for this SPHT switch we will consider throw as this circle and pole is nothing but this arm of the switch this arm of the switch so let's see how SPHT switch works so you can see here the arm of the switch is falling over the circle or the throw and so there is only one arm and only one circle or one throw so there is single pole single throw as there is only one pole and one throw so it is a single pole single throw these single pole and single throw switches we use in our home daily and these are the basic type of switches uh, we also use in uh, most of the torches we use but nowadays I think the torches are with a slide switch but uh, torches were there with um, SPHT switch also but normal example is of our household switches uh, which we use in the kitchens, in the living room and in the bedrooms. So now let's start with the next type of switch that is the SPDT switch. So SPDT is same as SPHT but the slight difference is there. The pole is one so it is a single pole and the throws are two so it is a double throw. So uh, how this single pole double throw works that we'll see in this animation so as you saw just now this arm touched this circle first and then the arm touched this circle so there are two throws and there is one arm 
so from here there will be negative uh, power supply and from here it will be a positive power supply uh, but this arm touched this circle so there the only one pole is touching two circles but one after other like uh, a slide switch like from this arm for this throw throw arm for this throw arm we can attach uh, another device a uh, led and for this arm we can attach a uh, uh, another led so once we um, put this arm or on this arm on this side then this arm will go on or this pole will go on the a throw a throw and and this a led will be on and when this pole will touch the b throw then the b led will be on so this is the same example of a slide switch just this was in a animation so as we have understood the spdt switch then let's move to the next part the dpst switch that is double pole but single throw only one throw and double poles are there so let's first see the animation as you just saw um, these both poles these both poles both poles at a time reached these throws so in the first slide if you remember i had told that throws are two meanings there are two meanings of throws throws are these circles also and the throws is the number of times you press so here in this circuit we are going to press only one time the switch is going to be pressed one time but both of the poles will be touched to the throws so this will be the a pole and this will be the b pole or b throw so no this will be um i think c c throw okay so when the a throw will reach b throw then at that same time a pole will reach b pole that means there are actually two poles and two throws but two poles will be pressed at a time or one time only and both will be connected at a time to the two throws so we consider the um, two throws as only one throw that is um, like um, we press it only one time the switch is pressed only one time and the the pole the both the poles touch the throats so this is the dpst switch i think you understood but i'll go to the next point but if you didn't let me know in the comments i'll do a more video on this uh, topic of switches i know it was really difficult for first time for me also it was uh, difficult to understand dpst switch and dpdt switch also so dpdt switch is harder than this one but let's go for the dpdt switch so this is the dpdt switch as in the animation only you see that it's really complicated the animation is really complicated but no worry you will understand it so first let's see the animation so the poles are now down and now the poles will go up okay so this is awesome yeah so as you are seeing these poles are touching this throw this is a throw this is also a throw so as you can see there are four throws and two poles so why the dpdt switch is named double pole and double throw 
it is double pole yes but why there is double throw it's only the four there are four throws but if you remember the last slide which i showed you dpst switch oh sorry spdt switch that is single pole but double throw so at that time um dpst spdt oh yeah sorry dp dpst switch that is double pole single throw yeah double pole single throw so uh, here uh, you are seeing so here you are able to see that there are two throws on either side and there are only two poles so these two poles if one time we press the switch these poles are connecting to this a and a throw so we consider these both a throws as only one throw as we uh, seen in the dpst switch um, that means that uh, there are two dpst switches uh, in the dpdt switch yeah so there are two dpst switches in the dpdt switch uh, so you can um, compare uh, those things uh, so when these poles connect to these throws these throws then uh, there is a one dpst switch and when these uh, poles connect to these throws there is one dpst switch so there are two dpst switches so there are two dpdt so there is one dpdt switch dpdt is nothing but double pole double throw switch so there are two poles that is really right but there are only two throws but actually there are four throws as why we consider the two throws as one throw because at a time you press once you press one switch at uh, at one go if you press both the poles will um, go to the throws so at a time uh, you are getting two throws power supply and second time when you press the switch the b throw b throw will be on so this is the dpdt switch so uh, this means that there are two poles i'll explain briefly there are two poles and four throws but at one press only both poles will be connected to either group of throws so these switches are used to change the direction of the motor so if you have a motor then uh, if this pole is connected to these throws i'll just wait so these poles are connected to these throws then the 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 direction of the motor may be clockwise and when these poles uh, are connected to these throws then the direction of the motor would be um, anti clockwise so this is all about the dpdt switch and uh, it's all um, of the switches and the types of switches so i'll just revise so what are switches switches it's a guy that just opens the circuit and closes the circuit and uh, spht switches we seen the spht switches that is nothing but single pole and single throw uh, in the spht switch there is only one pole and there is only one throw so uh, it is known as single pole single throw then we saw spdt switch that is uh, single pole double throw uh, so in that there is only one pole but there are two throws so spdt switch is the example of a slide switch then we saw dpst switches so dpst switches uh, have two poles and two throws but uh, we consider a uh, dpst switch as a double pole and single throw that is one throw only because two poles these two poles will be pressed one time only and both will be connected to the throws at a time at one go so we consider uh, this press as one throw itself uh, then we saw uh, and currently we are on the slide of dpdt switch dpdt is nothing but double pole double throw 
So in the double pole double throw there are two poles and four throws but at one press both poles will be connected to either group of the throws. So these switches are used to change the direction of the motor. Okay. So this all the revision of the 15 minutes video I have done and now let's check and the next slide so in the next slide make sure to check these videos of the Arduino and there is a playlist of astronomy um, in my channel also uh, if you go in the channel then you will find all the videos of Arduino videos of astronomy and videos of celebrations physics and etc etc so check out those also and here is a subscribe button click that if you haven't and check out the other videos thanks for watching